two dogs that I love so much, a four-year-old German Shepherd and a four-month-old Maltese. Now, last December, I was caught between a rock and a hard place as my family and I were to go on Christmas vacation. I wondered where and with whom I would leave my puppy. I therefore began asking a few of my friends if they knew of a place I could leave my pup, but they were as clueless as I was. Fortunately, as I was surfing the internet, I came across a gentleman who takes in pets for boarding and lodging. Yes, you heard right, boarding and lodging. Dog B&B is one such place in the heart of Siokimau along Katani Road. Here I met Mr. Michael Osunga, who has been in this venture for the past two years. I've, I've, been, I've been having a passion about dogs ever since I was a kid. Uh, but growing up, I didn't have that opportunity um, to have dogs of my own. So we, we grew up in, 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 in a modest uh, family. And at that particular point in time, um, my parents um, wouldn't let us to have dogs. I have several breeds. Um, I have three Jack Russell Terriers. So two are short-legged, um, Ranger and, um, and Whoopi. And one is long-legged um, Jack Russell Terrier. I also have a Dachshund sausage dog. Yes, that one. And then my first dog, Nana. Uh, he's a mixed breed of um, Maltese Terrier and Japanese Spitz. And then I have other um, security breeds, uh, security uh, dog breeds. So I have two pure breed uh, Belgian Malinois. Um, and then I have a crossbreed of, you know, Belgian Malinois and uh, German Shepherd. Modern, modern problems require modern solutions. So whenever I would go to, let's say, um, a country, many a times I would ask myself, um, whom will I leave my dogs with? <laughs> um, and at that particular moment, I would either cancel my trip and say, yeah, I'll remain with my dogs, or I would say I would go with them up country, which was a little bit hectic. So I said, okay, um, I'm not the only one who, who, who is experiencing this challenge. Then I said, okay, let me start a dog boarding um, facility where I can help other people who are experiencing the same challenge. If you bring in your dog, um, first of all, I'll, I'll ensure that all my dogs are, are inside their kennels, then I'll study your dog. And um, just from the, from the observation, I will, I will try to ascertain whether your dog is, is dominant and, and also try to, uh, to measure its, 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 its temperament. And then based on that, um, I'll be able to know how to assimilate it with other dogs. I don't just allow any dog to, to, to come on board. The dog has to be uh, vaccinated, ha, um, you know, has to have an up-to-date vaccination card. And then secondly, um, I'll have to know its medical record because I don't want to bring in a dog that will will, will somehow uh, bring in a con um, you know a contagious disease and, and such like things. We feed on uh, recommended um, uh, pet food uh, from from the supermarkets from the stores. So I would advocate for Bravo Foods uh, for dog pellets because they, they they have the they contain the necessary ingredient for for the dog. So for, for the adults, we, we feed um, adult Bravo food, um, as you can see. And then for the, for the small puppies, we also have uh, dog pellets for, for puppies. And then we supplement this with now the normal food uh, coming from, um, you know, cereals. So on a daily routine, we feed our dogs thrice um, at 6, between 6 a.m. to 7, 7 a.m. Uh, we normally feed, um, you know, dog rice and, and protein. So protein food, uh, we either get them from the butchery or from the Kenya Meat Commission or from, from Kenchik. We usually get some, some chicken. So I have a dedicated person who, who, who is employed for, for this. So early in the morning, I will ensure that the kennels are cleaned uh, with jig. Um, and then 
the the compound um, as you as you can see every time the dogs will like to poop on the grass so we ensure that that poop is is picked up um, at frequent intervals and then on the dogs themselves you can see the, uh, their coats are shiny so we clean them um, twice a week uh, with um, a pet pet shampoo so they usually sleep um, between um, 9 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. So by 5.30 a.m., um, Rashid, our, our guy, usually comes here, opens the, locks the big dogs and opens for, this, for the small dogs. So this is where they sleep um, and this is where they, they get fed. Uh, because you can't feed them outside um, because of competition. Some dogs will tend to feed themselves from the neighboring dogs plate and such like things. So this is where we, we feed them. And as you can see, we've tried as much as possible to make um, the kennels as cozy as, as possible. So we have bed sheets. So we spread them on the floor. And at, at the same time, we have pillows um, on the floor. And um, in this hallway, we usually put some carpet and some duvet. I usually don't like to use the word selling a dog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's somehow rehoming yeah. um, because um, getting a dog is like you're getting an, an, a, new, a new baby in, in, in your house. So the prices do vary. <laughs> uh, so for instance, for, 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 for such, for such dachshunds, sausage dogs, uh, they would range between, you know, um, forty thousand to to five hundred, uh, five hundred USD, fifty thousand Kenya shillings. And then these other mixed breeds, um, yeah, they would range from, you know, fifteen thousand to twenty thousand. Okay. Um, usually, for for dog breeders, we don't like to put price tags on 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 dogs uh, because, you know. You adapting a dog is like getting a baby, and you know for sure babies are not bought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they are adapted. So it's just an adoption. Uh, it's just a price tag to show the commitment the owner will have on the dog. Okay. Yes. All right. So after how many months do you rehome the puppies? So we rehome the puppies after three months once they are fully vaccinated. Um, with their vaccination card. So for instance, uh, for these um, sausage dogs, they are two months old now. Uh, so they will be rehomed hopefully um, the beginning of, of February. Yeah.